the BDS movement says that is trying to pressure Israel to accept the peace process. However, Israel has never denied or stopped the peace process. We have made countless offers, removed our citizens, given up land and made vulnerable our secure borders. The BDS movement, however, relies on misrepresentations and half trash truth to feed a thirst for the delegitimization of the state of Israel. And just last week, where Israel hosted the largest, largest LGBT event, the parade, the biggest parade in uh, Tel Aviv, we are accused of pinkwashing. This is the word that they describe as pinkwashing and that in the only country in the Middle East where the LGBT you know, community both... Alisa Lavi, you are a representative of a criminal apartheid state. I am, I am, an, I am an Israeli citizen in support of the BDS campaign. Now, you talk about pink horses? Please tell, please tell the audience, please tell the audience how Israel, while, while, while embracing LGBT in Tel Aviv, my friend, how the Israel, how the Israeli army okay? actually, actually, uh, uh, will you let the panel out, talk? You can, out you can ask from the closet. You can ask the how they threaten, later. How, how they threaten to out Palestinians. You can talk later. You can talk later. You can talk later. You can how they terrorize any gay Palestinian in the West Bank and any Tony. Now, now you are a Tony. Now, my, now you are a criminal. You are a representative of a criminal apartheid regime. This is not only my view, this is the view of the UN. The U, according to the UN report, she is not, she is not a legitimate representative. She, I'm, an, I'm an Israeli citizen. Now, according to, according to legal scholars, Tilly and Falk of the UN, they accuse Israel of apartheid, that Israel is, is a complicit, practices the crime of apartheid throughout the territory under its control and beyond. Israel also practices apartheid towards Palestinians here, refugees, Palestinians who are refugees here in Berlin, who are denied the right to go back home. This is what the BDS campaign is about. It is nothing about what you were talking about. These are absolute lies. The BDS campaign is about three basic rights of the Palestinians. Ending of the occupation of 67, equality inside 48, equality for those who are second class citizens, and finally and most importantly, the rights of the refugees. The rights of Palestinians who are in forced exile for seven decades now, simply for the cherished a Jewish majority that comes at the expense of the people of the land, of the sons and daughters of the land. Now, Alisa, you should know a party because you were a representative in Delta and South Africa. So you have seen firsthand both Israeli apartheid and South African apartheid. Do you think, do you think that boycotting no, South African apartheid no, was no. legitimate at the okay, time? You get, you Sir, do you think, you do you think, now you have to go do you think that boycotting now. South African apartheid was let, legitimate let at the time? Let them answer. Let them answer. I you ask your questions now. You she let them is answer. not a legitimate okay, representative. She's a representative of a criminal apartheid regime. You are a representative of a criminal apartheid regime. This is not just my view, this is the view of the UN. We get the housewives. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You have been heard. Let's see. 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 ישראל מקיימת אפרטהייד בכל השטח ומחוץ על הרחובות.
Hey, hey. The people who have been here, I've seen people here, you, you, you want to shut them up, you know, because they are talking the truth, because they're telling you how a parasite, no, no, I have seen it here, it's all recorded, by the way. Leave it. You know, every I've seen it. This guy wants to shut up there. He wants to shut her. He smacks her in his head. I would. I come down. I'm talking. I'm talking. Talk about human rights. Talk about apartheid state. Talk about Adala. You know, a human rights organization where all you committed. Talk about why your Benjamin Netanyahu didn't want to meet the German foreign minister. Talk about all the crime you made in Gaza. You're just a criminal, you know, criminals!